West Rob Avenue in beautiful Lima, Ohio. We are only here to help. to give away tickets for what do we got tickets? What do we got tickets for? Hootie. The airs, right? Hootie right. and the blowfish. <laughs> You're supposed to be in charge of this, Crowey. What the heck? I'm putting you on the spot. I don't we have, we have tickets for Pierre's. Um, they've got new owners over there. They've been booking a lot of shows. Be sure to follow a lot of shows. Follow them on their amazing. on their on their Facebook and all their social networking interweb pages and all that shit. And um, we've got tickets for Pop Evil, Pinder, and Blues Traveler. If anybody's into those bands, first person up here, come up and get a pair. Up, first person up. Come up. First person up. Come here. Pop it up. Yes. Oh, tickets. get up here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Do you have the tickets in your hand? No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't have the tickets. An IOU. Oh, he's got you. He's got you. Yeah, Blues Traveler tickets. All right, where's my peers? Right over there. Oh, right there. Yeah, he has your tickets for you. Thank you. And talk about, we do that shitty prize giveaway. That sure ain't no shitty prize. No. I know. And anybody else interested in some other tickets now? Or anybody want to jump up? Pop it up. Come up here. If you come to the stage, you get some tickets. You like? Get up we here. got more. My goodness. What you think? You think she's gonna show up? You think I, Jeff's gonna show up with two tickets? I didn't know. It's fucking Gromies, a record store day. You know better. Oh, it so. might cost you. Right. Though. Right. Hey, whatever. Come <laughs> with me. I'm just saying. See that gentleman right there? Yep. He has them for you. Yes. Hey, he only gets one though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, where and, are we going with this? And, and <laughs> we have a gentleman over here. That, uh, we have. And by the way, we also got comedians all day and ZTO TV. These ass wonderful people that we work with. <laughs> you said ass? No, yeah, he, he. I admit to it. It's yeah. fine. No, you've been He's testing on it, and there's small children around. Going. I know. I know. I, I did say that. I, they've heard ass. Exactly. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get real. Right. They they brought them here. They've heard it before. <laughs> right. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we've got the ZTO taping for the Gromy Show. This is the return of the Record Store Day Bash Part Do. And we have a comedian coming up who wants to say funny things. Hopefully. I'll say the first name you say last name. <laughs> Give it a shot. Eric. Arrive. Yes. 
Yes. There we go. Yes. See, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. All the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan, I believe. And uh, he can pull off a man than like no other. All right. Yeah, he's pretty hot. Let's see. Uh, get up here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I will try not to hit on you. All right. <laughs> we good? We're good. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Give it up for our host today and uh, the first band that you saw so far. Lima, Ohio. Yeah, that's that's the level of excitement I expect uh, about a band I know nothing about and myself. So I'm glad we're on the same plane. That's awesome. Um, it's also nice that I, uh, I met the uh, lack of minority quota today. Um, I got an interesting, uh, this is actually, I'm still working on my winter tan right now. Um, when I go to the airport, um, before I even say anything out loud, I usually get Trace somewhere between a uh, landscape, or you know, you say natural citizen. Um, I usually qualify uh, under uh, natural born landscaping technician, as opposed to citizen. Um, or if they don't hear me talk right away, they automatically think that maybe I could potentially be a terrorist. Um, and then I open my mouth and like, ah, oh, crap! International spy. His English is really good. But before they let me go through, they're like, yeah, so I got some tech problems with my laptop. And I was like, probably porn. Probably porn messed up your laptop. Just go to Best Buy or church or both. Find your pastor and your Best Buy technician and just say, hey, sorry, Father Geek Squad, more porn. Please fix my laptop, please. I cannot fix your laptop. I'll tell you what else I can't do. Um, I can't get you free tickets for uh, Hamilton, okay? <laughs> so, stop asking me about that. I did not make a wrong turn to a uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda look-alike contest. I know they don't have, they don't have those in Ohio. Um, <laughs> they don't have those anywhere in this state. Um, they're just looking for more landscape. I'm sorry. Agricultural technician assistance. <laughs> sorry. I know I'm a few months early before the harvest. Um, but uh, some of the soil looks dry. Some of the soil looks dry, that's, what, that's all I'm saying. Um, I, uh, let's see, what else? So, yeah, it was a nice, fun drive down here. I was actually pleasantly surprised to see less construction on the way down here and how smooth the roads are. As we're driving on nice, fresh, blacktop roads without shoulders, as opposed to what I drove through on the way down here, which is a bunch of shitty roads with really nice black shoulders. They're really smooth. <laughs> I love what the Road Commission is doing in Michigan right now. They're really focused on what the edges look like, the part that no one ever wants to drive on or has to unless they have to pull over because they're disabled or getting pulled over by a cop. But the stuff in the middle, fuck it. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just fuck up our cars left and right. <laughs> right? Like, I, I, I just don't understand. Oh, and now, too, like, the, the medians where you have only where, like, construction vehicles are allowed to turn around in the middle of the highways on the medians and where the cops sit there for their speed traps, oh, those are nice, freshly paved, too, because you have to drive so fast over those. You know, that's great. Cause I, and we have to use those all the time as regular motorists. We try to turn around the highway. You're going to get ticketed. You're going to get pulled over, possibly go to jail. But, hey, fuck it, let's just get all those road dimples, as many out there as possible. I'm surprised they're not out there with fucking pickaxes.
to party he walks up with a beer in hand and so you know it's either you're gonna have a really good time or your kids are gonna have a really bad time one of the two all right here we go okay first of all what's your name you have to give him the mic come on up don't bite hard amel all right his name is amel we got katie with five y's and amel all right here we go what tv show is set in a hospital featured the early work of howie mandel General Hospital, Emergency, Dookie Hauser, or St. Elsewhere? What's the first two you said? The first two were General Hospital and Emergency. There are two different shows. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say the last. I don't know what I'm the last, which is D, St. Elsewhere. That is correct. Pull something out of there. I'm full of useless trivia. It's not a, it's not a leave a penny, take a penny. Leave the, uh, keep the beer. Oh, okay, we got a bag. Got to open the bag. You must reveal all horrible things that you see. I seen. thought it was a Hot Wheel, but... Well, yeah, well, there's a chance of that. All right, got to put his beer down. Now it's getting serious, guys. Hold on. Yeah, just rip the bag. Nobody gives a shit. All right, that is a yakisoba chicken flavor. That is actually a good one because that's edible food. We normally don't even give edible food, so that's good. It's not a cell phone. It's not a cell phone. 
he is a, he is offended. All right. Oh, I love it. Thanks. Yes. Again, that's good. It's edible. Like it could have been expired. Like for all we know. Yeah. Throw some beer in there. Have yourself a very confusing dinner. I don't know. <laughs> the more I ate, the funnier things got. All right. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Who knows anything about weird movie cameos? Again, that's a very specific sentence to say. Anybody at all? I'll start calling people. I don't care. Yeah, you. You looked wrong. Get over here. Yeah, then I'm just over here. You know that's what the teachers do, right? They just look. They look for any sign of weakness. Just any. A guy, you brushed your hair. Get over here. All right. All of them do it. All of them. All right. First of all, what's your name? Greg. Greg. He seems like he was so defeated. Greg. Oh, God. All right. What comedy from the 90s features a cameo by the legendary death metal band Cannibal Corpse? I did not know this. All right. Scary movie, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, Trial and Error, or Airheads? Yeah, we bring our own. Yeah. No, no, that's not an option. Airhead. No. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura Pet Detective in some weird world. Yes, that is correct. Pull something out. Oh, is that spam? Open it. I don't know. It could be. It could be spam. It could be a dead rat. We don't know. What is that? Is that spam? Lunch and loaf. Lunch and loaf. That is generic spam. What's the date on that? Is that good? No. Wait, yes. 2025. <laughs> okay. Well, the first one said 2020, but that's well, production. It's production and... Yeah, so first of all, either A, he didn't know his dates, or B, that thing is going to live forever. That that lunch and loaf, that generic spam will outlive all of us, okay? Just going to head up there. It's got five-year lifespan. Five-year lifespan. That will outlive some of the people here. Let's call it what it is. Okay. This is not part of the giveaway. I just wanted to see this. So when I, when you, when the bands are up here, I go around the store and I actually find some of the weirder shit he finds that he has in the store. I don't know how he gets them. I literally one time found a cassette tape from the Lutheran Church on how to raise your children. It was mint condition. Don't know. This is what I found literally the minute I walked in this fucking store. Let me show you. This is a monkey puppet that that has a one a baby's onesie on it. And the onesie says, accident. <laughs> this was seen is sitting by the door on the way out of the store. First thing I saw when I got here. Hey, I put it there. Yeah. It's not part of the giveaway. I just wanted Shizzy. people to see it. Shizzy. I got a request. <laughs> it's coming. Don't that worry. is. That's a roadkill monkey. Roadkill monkey. And it was yeah. an accident. Yeah, it was one of the thing. Like, literally, first thing I saw when I walked in. This is now a mascot of some sort, but that is not part of it. I just want people to see it. All right. <laughs> okay. That's right. Road Kill Monkey. I remember that. It's a great song. Really great song. Absolutely. All right. Okay. I'm not even gonna try and preface this question, but who wants to answer a question? I don't care. Just come up here and answer it. Come on. All right. First of all, okay, you're way too far from the microphone. Oh, all right. What's your name? That's right. Alden. Okay, Alden. All right. Here we go. Which of these titles is not a movie featuring a cow? Okay. Freddy Got Fingered, Me, Myself, and Irene, or Sin City? Does not have a cow. Freddy Got Fingered? Try again. Mm, it's Tom City. Green, Lelia has to. Sin City. Sin City, that is correct. I can't imagine where they put it. It would be a horrible, horrible scene. Pull something out of there. First thing? Sure, open it up. You gotta show what's in the bag. No mysteries. We cannot be legally held responsible for any mystery packages. Alright. Alright, what do we got there? Looks like a... That is a hairband with hair fake hair. flowers on it. Oh, okay. Well, that will definitely go with your hat. That's good. Well, you could try it. I mean, you know, take some chances in the world. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. Alright, so enjoy that. That was actually still on the card, so that's technically a new item. So, enjoy your new headband, sir. Don't even know how to respond to that. All right, okay. 
All right, let's do let's do one more. We got we got to pace ourselves. We got more stuff in the bag, but we got time. All right, let's do one. All right, who knows anything about Metallica? The internet's favorite band, Metallica. I will start calling. I don't care. All right, get up here. I saw you jog. I didn't care. You were jogging to the restroom. You're coming up here first. That's all right. There you go. That was a weird moment for a woo, but here we go. All right. It's never weird. Moment. First of all, what's your name? Bo. Bo. All right. B O. B O. That's how it's that's how it should be spelled. Anyway, which of these albums is not a metallic release? Master of Puppets, God Hates Us All, or Ride the Lightning? God Hates Us All. That is true. They may think it, but they didn't say it on an album. Pull it out. Pull it out of the bag, not. That is a can that says, maybe fish. fish. Just written in marker, it says, maybe fish. <laughs> like, nobody knows. It's a mystery can. Let's find out. Oh, God. <laughs> don't open it in front of us. I don't need, I don't need botulism this week. All right. All right. Well, yeah, they're about set up, so I think this is going to be it for me this time. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the X-Bombers. There are many more bands coming. So hold on and get ready for some great music. Thank you, Lima, Ohio. We're the X-Bombers from Illinois. So what you're hearing is our third record, We Love Is Easy, right over there. You can tell we're a touring band because we talk during the intro of our songs. And just for the musicians, we go to the fourth. Mistress Carrie, you make good jazz. I keep making the wrong decision. But guess what us with each revision. It's a gift set, it's a curse. I keep on trying to fix bad with worse. When in doubt, chorus out. <laughs> keep trying to fix bad with worse. Oh my god. I keep trying to fix bad with worse. I keep trying to fix bad with worse. I keep trying to fix bad with worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, hey, before you do that. Yeah. Um, there's like sodas and waters over here. People are welcome to. Okay, alright. Yeah, okay, all right. There are sodas and waters over here in the coolers if you're dying of thirst. Stay hydrated. Uh, stay hydrated. Don't die. We want the bare minimum of deaths at this show. You know. Make sure to tell them to love their family also. Love your family? Don't know what the hell uh, that's about. And your friends. And your friends, I guess. And also anybody else that might care about you. Okay, so Frank is high right now, and that's what that means. And he's getting real lovey, so don't get too close to him or he'll get grabby. Um, I wish I was joking. The point is, love people and, I don't know, whatever. Something about the human spirit. I'm not really a fan, but whatever. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's, oh, okay, here we go. We got more questions. Just when you thought you were rid of me, you were not. Never. That sounded ominous. Oh, God. All right, here we go. 
Is there an echo? Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, a little bit. Hello. All right, that got weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, okay. All right, who's ready for a completely ridiculous question? I don't care who it is. Come on up here. You will get it right. I don't know how to explain. I can't explain the question. Just you just have to listen to it. Anybody at all? I start calling names. I don't care if it's the right name. I'll just call somebody. I don't know. All right, we're back. Okay, this works. So, how many Y's are in your name again? Five. Five. All right, we remembered that. That's good. It's good to remember that. Which of these actors is not Eddie Murphy? Ed Murphy, Edward Murphy, or John Travolta? C. C, correct. I would hope she got that right. John Travolta, despite his best efforts, is not Eddie Murphy. Uh, it's fixed. This is all fixed, sir. This is all... Yeah, pull something out of the bag. So you're going to do it one hand. It's going to be like a trick. I, I, I know. You got something in the other hand. It's like a trick. Oh, uh, watermelon sandals, which goes with every outfit, in case you didn't know. All right. Oh, there's more. There's more in there. Full outfit. Glow sticks. All right. That's another one. Well, of course. And that is the, another headband. So for the record, he said it's an old outfit. He assumes you're going to be nude. That's what he's doing. Headband. That's it. That's all you got. We're going that's, Burning Man. Yeah, that's either a Burning Man or you get arrested. Those are the two options. Or you get arrested at Burning Man. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it's possible, but it could be. All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that question. I had no idea. I was like, uh, okay, that's a question. Good luck, Dan. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more. Great, great. Yeah, they don't make sense. I'm they stupid. Oh, they don't make sense. Yeah, Frank, by the way, in addition to the bag of horrors, um, Frank also prints all these questions. So I don't see the questions beforehand either. So some of these I'm reading as I'm reading them to you. So good luck. All right. Horror. Yeah, it, it's implied. We, like I said, we got rid of that one bag. It was not not kid-friendly or adult-friendly. It was bad. It was bad. It was friendly. It was not friendly. It bit you. It was horrible. All right. Who knows anything about movies? That's as vague as I can get. It has visual aspects. I don't know. Like Anybody at all? Come on up. It has sound, yes. It's a, it's a talkie. It has sound. It's a visual thing. I don't care. Someone get your butts up here. I literally don't. You, the umbrella. 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 You'll get it right. <laughs> yeah, her. I'll make sure it's appropriate. I'll make sure the, the, the prize is appropriate. It's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. <laughs> you can't. You don't have to. I'm not gonna, I can't force you. I'm not going to force a child to do something. God, I'm not a monster. Not since the 90s, right? Not now. since the 90s. <laughs> I think Bill Kid Cosby got in trouble for something. Anyway. Right here, right here. All right. She's so pensive. It's okay. I'm... Damn, be nice. I am nice. All right. Give her something good. I will. All right. First of all, don't need to be scared. It's okay. What's your name? Anna? All right. Let's give it up for Anna. Yeah. All right. Now, again, you're going to get this right, so don't worry. Which of these movies does not feature Steve Buscemi? Reservoir Dogs, Mr. Deeds, or Titanic? You listen. Titanic, that is correct. First try, better than most adults here. Here, reach to the bag. Just grab something. If it, we'll make sure it's appropriate, I promise. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not a monster. Definitely got to be PG. <laughs> it will be. It's not gonna be. I'm not. I'm not a monster. That is Buffalo '66. <laughs> so let me see the tape. I don't know. Is Lion Party? Is that appropriate, Frank? It's not Buffalo '66. I know it's not, but what is it? It says Time Party. You tell me. Did you record it? Tim's party. Tim's, Tim's party. Did you record it? No, it looks like a bootleg. Like somebody recorded it or something. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> you, yeah, that's a, there you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah, she has no idea. That's all right. Hey, you have a good day. I'm not going to lie to you. 
If I had a nickel for all the inappropriate things I gave to a child at the, in this, it's bizarre. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. I think one kid a while back got a frisbee. That was like nice. And then everything else is like, we've just given horrible things to like teenagers. Rated our movies to someone who's like 15. Like, no one's going to come get us, but they probably should. You know what I mean? All right. So, I have traumatized another child through this giveaway. I am a monster. All right. What the hell is with wrong? What's going on in my life? You ever had that moment, Frank? Where you go? This is where it's become. This is where it's gone. Every really? day. This is it. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Every day. Oh my goodness. All right, who knows anything about animals? Come on up then. It's literally that easy. This ain't the Price is Right. We don't stream. We're just like get up here. We don't care. All right. First of all, what's your name? Elijah. Elijah. Okay. Very. Very, this is a very easy answer. You will get it right eventually. Which of these animals does not eat meat? Hold on. You're going to know it as soon as I give you the answers. I just read the answers right now. A tiger, a lion, or a dead lion? <laughs> Think about it. It's a thinker. It is the dead lion. Don't think about it too hard. Yes, it's the dead lion. Pull something out of the bag. Show it to the people. Uh oh. Right, that is, I, there we go. That is another picture frame for your future diploma. So, whatever school, you got that started, so now just go to some school and you got it. Yeah. Yes, there you go. You're welcome. And it's free. I know, you should. I'm a lovable person who gives away garbage to people. I'm like if Santa had a meth problem, basically. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not Santa. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, here's another question. What the hell is this? All right. Fun. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anybody at all. I'm not even going to try to explain this one. Just get your ass up here. Okay, come on up here. You are way too excited for this game. The guy, the last guy got a, the, the girl got a VHS tape of a movie she was never going to watch. He got a frame for a document of some sort. You are way too excited for this game, dude. Can I have the bag? No, you can't have the bag. We're, this is way too early for the bag. We're, we're hours before the bag goes anywhere. Learn the system, man. All right. All right. How much milk does Rush Limbaugh drink every day? Hold on. Hold on. Two glasses, an entire gallon, or none. That asshole's just as dead as the lion I previously mentioned, and dead men drink no milk. It is clearly the last one. He is dead. That's right. Pulls of the out. Here's a, here's a piece of trivia. Dead things don't eat. Just going to put that out there. That is something in a bag. That's clearly a bottle of liquor or something dead. All right, what is that? Are there glow sticks? Those are glow sticks. So he, so, so he and Katie are going to go to a rave now, and that's going to gonna be fun. All right. We're making dreams come true over here. Making dreams come true. Hey. Hey, you. Guy walking away. Give her one of the glow sticks. She got a videotape. She's not happy. I can see she's not happy. Give her one of the glow sticks. <laughs> I'm trying to give her something she'd like. I don't know. She don't like that tape. All right. There are no frisbees this time, so, you know. All right. So let's, they're about done. Let's do one more, and then we will go on to the melodic tunes of Murder Cabin. <laughs> A phrase I never thought I'd ever say in my life. And yeah, here we are. All right. Here we are. Murder Cabin for Jesus. Murder <laughs> Cabin. Yes, that'll be the album. Murder Cabin for Jesus. All right. It's just all right. Live at Chromies. It's going to be a very messed up guy with, like, missing hair going, smiling on the cover. It's going to be great. All right. All right. Again, I don't. No one's going to get. Yeah, whatever. Somebody up here. One more person to come up here and get some garbage. One more. One more. I don't care who you are, what you've done. I'm pretty sure that's a lyric from a 90s song. I don't care. Get up here. The Backstreet Boys song, isn't it? You might win nothing. No, you win something. It's just worth nothing. That's the difference. Yeah. All right, come on. Anybody at all. I don't do, the, I don't do this for my health. I do it for yours. These microphones have for like 15 years. Uh, I'm gonna start calling. All right, you come up here. Win something nice. I make no promises, but 
No spam. Well, we already gave away the junky, nondescript spam that lasts for five years. All right. First of all, what's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Nice to meet you. <laughs> if you had a catchphrase, what would it be? Do you have a beer? We called him drunk man. No. Apparently, the answer is, that's what I call a sticky situation. I didn't write these. Pull something out of the bag. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't write these. I don't know. Pull, pull something out of the bag. Twice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I don't care. It's garbage. I don't care. Take whatever you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, got it. Okay, you got it. Yeah, open, you got to open it and show it to the people. Yes. You don't have to eat. You don't have to eat it. You don't eat anything out of the bag. You going to eat sunglasses? He's going to eat, eat sunglasses. No, those are sunglasses, Frank. He's got sunglasses straight from the 1950s, yet it's one of the better things, honestly. It's not, they're like toddler sunglasses, but it's really one of the better. No, well, there you go, see? Someone actually won today. Not many, but somebody. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this time. The bag is, we're running through the bag. And I'm not introducing, Gromy's going to introduce this, whatever this is. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, indeed. All right, Buzz. Oh, dear. All right. I, okay. Yeah, I, yes. Oh dear. Alright. Um has anyone seen Chromie? Because <laughs> he needs to see this. Um I, I know you think Ethereum and Dogecoin are the future, but uh, if Indeed search, if an Indeed job search consists of the bulk of your job search, maybe Dogecoin is in a solid retirement plan. No, maybe not. I don't know. Just me. All right. You smoke a lot of weed. Any other stoners here? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's only the band. Okay. Uh, everybody else just was. I'm a good sign. I don't know what you're talking about. Not me. I'm high right now. That's right. <laughs> That's why he's the only one laughing, by the way. Um, no, man, I, I, I live in Michigan, and it's weird because weed's legal there, which when I was growing up, it was hard to get weed. Now you go into a store, and it's like going into Willy Wonka's shop, effectively. I am walking into the world of sweet inebriation. I just, I can't handle it. There's too much choice in the weed now. Oh, what else, man? Um, it is, though. It's, it's strange being, you know, having to do drugs and all, having to handle things like a sober person. Um, you know, I'm looking for a new job. Things are looking up for me. The economy's improving. I uh, recently had a job and offered an Amazon Fulfillment Center, a place where I'm pretty sure at the end of the day you don't leave feeling fulfilled. You get to, uh, though, make some spoiled brats. Dreams come true, giving her the Madam Kamala Harris Vice President Greenhouse. That's, that's fun. Oh, man. Are you recording this? Oh, okay, maybe. He, he doesn't know. He was wobbling in here, so he's probably just like, what's going on? Man? This angry guy is just here, manifesting. 
Um, uh, anybody hear about the Olympics? Uh, I'm not really looking forward to them, but they uh, got mad at somebody for she smoked pot. That was why she can't be in the Olympics. You're just jealous because she has a greater lung capacity from all the years of bong hits, okay? You just can't compete with that. I think we, the reason I'm not looking forward to the Olympics is because we need to get some new fucking events. Okay? Sorry for my language. I know there's kids here, my apologies. Um, for example, if you can make it through the TSA line, that should be an Olympic event. If you can put all your stuff back in the bag and get your shoes on in under 15 seconds without Joe who's making $10 an hour go yelling at you, you deserve a gold medal. Gold, that's right. Sir. coming out. I really appreciate it. We've been having a blast here today. I hope you guys have been having as much fun as I have. Yes. Yes. I want to, uh, you know, I want to thank all the bands that have been playing, but that would take too long. So go hit up the uh, Facebook page, Return to the Record Store, Bash thing, and like all those bands. Like these bands, because without these bands, there ain't no point in me throwing this shit together, right? I want to thank these guys. They're awesome. Probably, uh, you know, they're all, every band I work with is a professional, but these guys are real professional and I love them for it. You know, first time she was in the store. It's great. Anyway, um, still got a few more bands coming up here in a little bit. Got to notice from Columbus. And we got Struck by Silence from Bell Fountain. And we got right now my friends Adam Finley. <laughs> You good? I, I have this. I love it. Well, we know that. Anyway, love these guys. Give it up for nothing she said. Woo! <laughs>
hit my head on my microphone tonight. I think that's two. <laughs> Hi, we're nothing, she said. Um, we have a special guest with us tonight. Turn that off so I can introduce you. Thank you. Oh. So. Mm -hmm. 